this room. Bonjour, euh, Madame et Monsieur. Euh, avec votre permission, je vais continuer à parler en anglais. <laughs> Let's go back to ancient history. Humans always use their body movements to express and to reflect their inner feelings. They use the, their movements to share joy and happiness. And that's the meaning of the word dance. Dance has had a major influence on culture throughout history. Today, in a besieged country like Palestine, dance can empower people. Let's see how. And let's see how that I discovered from our modest experience in Palestine that dance can also imply on other people, unhappy and well-off people who live in free and highly developed countries throughout the globe. In Palestine, dance folklore, also known as Dabke, has been very popular. It is performed in wedding and celebrations to share joy and happiness. And it was introduced in school at very long age, long time ago. Nowadays, it is performed on stages along with contemporary dance and ballet that were taught by international volunteers who come and visit Palestine or are married to Palestinians. We use dance as a way to express our very existence. Nowadays, dance is very important for us all, as we use it to express how we feel. For me, dance saved me a million times, mainly because I, was, I grew up in a country that is under occupation, where you need a permit to move from a place to another, where it has checkpoints all over the cities and where we still are surrounded by a wall and our prisoners are on hunger strike at this moment. It has saved me going through all those acts and it made me feel safe dancing in my own little room, disconnected from the world outside where it, has, where it is dangerous and not safe and my life was threatened. I felt safe and I felt happy dancing in my own little room, disconnected, and I felt the sense of freedom. It also saved me as a woman in an Arab society where women's rights was not very equal and systematically trampled. Dance was my only weapon to achieve freedom. I took dance classes and after-school activities, and it helped me to discover my identity. But unfortunately, in Palestine, we don't have any dance ac academies to continue art and dance. So instead, I studied business administration in Birzeit University. And while doing so, I volunteer in summer camps to help kids and to give them from what I learned, movements, to make them feel happy and safe. And this is how I launched my project, to give children a space to move and feel free in a country where freedom does not exist. Ramallah Ballet Center is a space for everyone. It's six years old now. It provides a medium for people to move and basically just dance. It gives them power, and we teach them how dance could be a tool to empower them and give them this sense of freedom.
because I had uh, hate and had uh, bad comments when it first advertised on um, social media and on the local news and also as well as international news, because it was exposed to mentalities where the term dance was not very acceptable in my country and where they didn't expect us to have dance schools there. But uh, on the other hand, we had lots of support from family and friends, from people whom I've never met. They supported me and helped me by sending me love and volunteers. The dance scene has grown now in Palestine. It's not only for kids, it's also for um, adults that we managed to do salsa nights. And this group of people, they dance now every week in Ramallah. And uh, it's amazing how they're doing um, this development, this informal communities that we are, we're doing together to develop our country through art. And it's happening, we're seeing it. Um, also, at sometimes I wanted to give up. I didn't want to continue because it's not easy to go through this alone. And I wanted um, to quit everything because at some time I didn't have volunteers and I didn't have anyone to help me. But thanks to the support for my mother that she didn't allow me to stop. She said, look at the girls, they are smiling, they are happy, never close it. And my mother, who is my role model, she is a very strong woman herself. She worked with initiative or her, her lies. She taught us how to give and give, but never give up. So I didn't, and I won't, and here I am in front of you today. <laughs> it's not easy for individuals who are in my country who want to develop themselves or to proceed for help. For instance, if they want to continue in university, it's very hard, it's very expensive. I bet you never thought about it. Being from the non-EU countries can double the price. For me, I was searching for universities and I recently found one. It is amazing that how it fit, the program fits my vision and mission. It talks about international masters in dance technique, knowledge and heritage. It continues with my vision, but the problem is that I have to find lots of fun channels to continue with it and to people who believe in uh, this art to make it continue through my study. Because my next step for Ramallah Ballet Center is to transfer it to a huge academy so people from all around the world can come and dance or even people who are not under pri privilege, anyone can come and move and feel it. And this is not all, and that was a surprise to me. Being exposed in the business world, as well as being in the movement and art, made me want to combine between them both. And the idea came to me when I attended the different leaderships around the world in different countries. I was with the She Entrepreneurs and Olive Palme Center in Sweden. Talks were about uh, politics and startups, and guess what? We danced there, and that made the debate progress. <laughs> um, it does help. Also, uh, now we look for collaborations and partnerships. So we have now Thai individuals with, um, we have Thai relations with different individuals from around the world and NGOs like uh, Refugee Without Borders in Sweden. We work together to um, improve the quality of life for refugees and even for local people. We use art and movement to help them to do culture exchange, to help them accept each other. And we do, we do it now with different audiences under the name of Empower Through Movement. Those workshops were held in my country, in Dubai, in Sweden. In Dubai, 
this is a good story. <laughs> in Dubai, I went to um, attend a summit by Ashoka. Do you know Ashoka? No? <laughs> a program I was uh, accepted in, it's uh, a change maker exchange. It's mostly for software and apps, so I was very happy being accepted among different youth from different backgrounds, from different countries. They were talking about um, startups and apps, and I was there also talking about movement and how it could help and make a big change in the global world. Uh, so this is how I realized that movements could be for everyone, not only for underprivileged people or refugees or to people from coming out from war, but also for any employee or manager in a tech company because movements can help to improve our well-being. When you move, you feel happy. And when you're, you are happy, you want to do more, you want to produce and you, you want to create. We tried this in SAP in Dubai, and we give this workshop. It's very easy to give, very easy to um, apply to anyone. Uh, we give them this soft movement, and we talked about how important it is to do culture exchange, how important it is to, um, to work together as a team. And uh, we did those workshops there, and uh, they felt empowered because simply they danced, they felt uh, happy, and they wanted to go back and create. And two days ago, we did this in Sweden, in Malmo, with my uh, other partners, and we witnessed it in the room. Refugees and local were there, they were exchanging movements, and we saw it from our eye, like we instantly saw it, that there's something happening. They're accepting each other, others. They, they're accepting new ideas. Let's see. <laughs> Using dance as a tool to express will never end, as there are always cases to represent and to defend, till we have our equal rights and more civilized world, till we accept and get accepted by humans and different cultures living together on this earth. And you are all here tonight. What cases would you like to make? What causes would you like to defend? What ideas would you like to spread? Isn't it time to start to move for it? Thank you. Mm -hmm.